15 Armenian prisoners of war have been handed over by Azerbaijan. Acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has thanked the U.S., Georgian and EU partners for playing a role in ensuring the return of 15 Armenian POWs from Azerbaijani captivity. Pashinyan also confirmed reports that the Armenian side handed over maps of some minefields to the Azerbaijani side. Two days ago, I had a meeting with Acting U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of State Philip Reeker, who said he had been instructed by Secretary of State Anthony Blinken to ensure a breakthrough in the return of Armenian captives, he said. The United States welcomes the release by Azerbaijan of 15 Armenian detainees and their return to their families in Armenia, Blinken said in a statement. We also welcome Armenia's decision to provide Azerbaijan with important information that will facilitate humanitarian demining and avoid future casualties, he added. Pace rapporteur on the humanitarian consequences of the conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan, Paul Gavin from Ireland, says he welcomes the news about the release of 15 Armenian prisoners of war and the transfer of a minefield map of Ahdam to Azerbaijan. It is necessary to take steps to mitigate the humanitarian impact of this prolonged conflict that led to a six-week war last year. Gavin said. Charles Michel, president of the European Council, also expressed a support for the leaders of Armenia and Azerbaijan in connection with the return of prisoners. I applaud Azerbaijan's and Armenia's parallel humanitarian gestures, releases of detainees, and maps of mined areas, he tweeted. Another captured Armenian, Lebanese Armenian Vikan Ulcekcian, was sentenced in Baku to 20 years in prison, according to Azerbaijani media. He was accused of quote unquote terrorist activities. According to a Baku court decision, he will spend five years in prison and the rest in a correctional facility. Ignoring all calls from the international community, the Azerbaijani authorities continue to illegally detain Armenian captives and put them on trial. The accreditation of New Zealand sports reporter David Yegazarian and the other Armenian sports journalists to the 16th European Football Championship Euro 2020 in 11 cities of 11 countries has been suspended. On May the 20th, UEFA had confirmed in an official letter that Yegazarian had been accredited to cover Euro 2020. However, two days after the start of this competition, UEFA announced that the accreditation was not confirmed by the decision of the police of one of the organizing countries. Presumably, it was with the intervention of the organizing committee of Azerbaijan. The New Zealand sport reporter had applied to UEFA only to cover six group stage matches scheduled for St. Petersburg, Russia. The Football Federation of Armenia is currently working to resolve this matter. A telephone conversation between the Acting Minister of Territorial Administration and Development of Armenia, Suren Babikyan, and the Mayor of Echmiazin City, Diana Gasparyan, is going viral on the internet. In the phone talk, Gasparyan complains about Acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, stating that he must step down for the sake of the state. Let them choose someone from the team. Let them choose you. He has already gone. His psyche cannot stand, she added. In response, Babikyan urged her to keep calm. The observations of the Electoral Rights Watch initiative show that the ruling civil contract party systematically engages children in its election campaign ahead of the SNAP parliamentary elections in Armenia on June the 20th. We consider this process to be contrary to the rights of children and illegal, and call the attention of the competent state and public as well as international organizations to the issue. The initiative's respective statement reads in part. During a meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan intends to raise White House's recognition of the Armenian massacres by the Ottoman Empire as the Armenian Genocide. Erdogan announced his respective intention during his trip to Brussels, adding that the White House's decision had frustrated Turkey, Reuters reports. Erdogan also plans to discuss the U.S. government's pledges regarding the F-35 and Patriot defense systems, as well as Turkey's renunciation of the Russian S-400 missile system, Ahval News Agency reports. As of Thursday morning, 41 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia, and the total number of these cases has now reached 223,723 in the country. Also, four more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making the respective total 4,488 cases. The number of people who have recovered over the past one day is 33. 
and the total respective number so far is 215,228.